Charles looked typically smart in a gray suit and pink tie as he stepped off the plane. The 70-year-old spent just a few hours in St. Lucia before heading to Barbados to meet Camilla who flew out a few days ahead. Clarence House said it is not uncommon for the royal couple to start trips at different stages. Royal Tour, Prince Charles and Camilla make royal history on tour Prince Charles and Camilla Caribbean itinerary, the full schedule Charles and Camilla's 12-day Commonwealth Tour will also see them visit St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Kitts and Nevis Grenada and the Cayman Islands. The highlight of the trip is a historic four-day visit to Cuba, beginning on March 24. It is the first time a member of the royal family has visited the nation. After arriving in St. Lucia, Charles spoke to guests including the country's Prime Minister Alan Chastanet, Governor General Sir Emmanuel Neville Senac, and British High Commissioner Steve McCready. He said, the Commonwealth has been a cornerstone of my life for as long as I can remember, and, through all the unprecedented global challenge of these past seven decades, it seems to me that the Commonwealth remains as vital today as it has ever been. Charles went on to warn about the global threat of climate change. He said, importantly, the Commonwealth brings us together and gives us the means to harness shared opportunities as well as to address common challenges. There is no greater challenge facing all of us, in my view, than that of global warming and climate change which, I know, poses nothing short of an existential threat to this island as it does to every part of this region. Prince Charles, Royal hates doing this one thing, when he travels Charles will be doting granted to Meghan Markle's royal baby aft. He also spoke about his 2017 visit to the Caribbean following Hurricanes Maria and Irma to see for himself the damage caused by the natural disasters. Anne Charles praised St. Lucia's abundant talent and creativity prompting an enthusiastic applause from the crowds in stands at the sports field hosting the event. During the welcome ceremony, the prince inspected four detachments police, ports police, fire service and cadets lined up in front of him before he watched them parade past the stands. He also presented an honor that recognizes outstanding volunteers the Commonwealth Point of Light Award to Dorothy Phillip, President of Faces of Cancer St. Lucia. And he was guest of honor at a reception staged on the beachfront at a hotel resort. Charles and Camilla's last joint overseas tour was to Africa in October.